come to this place when God is really declaring and he's requiring a greater level, a greater level of honor. There's something that is called the curse of dishonor and the power of honor. And glory to God, whenever a people come to a place where there is no more honor, whether it's for um, so, um for both of them that are superiors or both of them that are in leadership or whatever area, there should be a level of honor because of certain positioning. Are you with me here? And there are times that we have people that has the great call of God and it's obvious that the hand of God is on their life. But there are some people who the hand of God is on but they are not yet active in the calling. And so there are some people who the hand of God is on and their life is functional. And so when you come in contact with functional people who are not dead, 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 your level of respect and honor for them has to now go to a different level. Are you with me here? And it's not the fact that we we, 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 we honor some and dishonor but what I'm talking about is when that mantle and that gift that on that person's life is in is, 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 is an operation heard about that's God himself maneuvering and moving in and through that person's life and so there should be a level of fair fearful reverence for that individual because you can get yourself in trouble with God whenever there's a man or woman of God that's moving on the behalf of God and because you have personal issue or because you have no, your personal ideology about them and you try to dishonor them, you can cause the curse and the judgment of God to rest upon you and your generation. Is there anybody here? And so I came to declare that God some calling the church to a place of a greater level of honor for those of them that I've set that are not in charge or I've set as superiors. Is there anybody here today that's ready to move and go to another place where God, but the enemy has had us stagnated for a very long time. So I want to say this to you today. The Bible says, God, as we look at the book of Noah, the Bible says, above all, among all, God, God in Noah's era, in his time, God, God, Noah was the most godly, God, God, he alone was considered by the Almighty God blameless. So God considered him to be a blameless man. And so the thing about it is sometimes people ain't got no blame on you but they will make something upon you. Go to God. And so you can't live your life go to God based on what people got to say. And the truth be told and God would have judged you Taylor based on people's opinion. You would have been dead long time because their opinion got said. Their opinion Kill Chantel, their opinion say right off. But God says, no, I still got a plan and I still got a purpose. Is there anybody here? I came to declare to you that you cannot kill when God wants alive. And I'm going to have for the hand of God for my life. I'm not going to be here today. Is there anybody here that can stand? Because what's time has to live in all my God. And the living witness and said, if it had not been for the Almighty God, for my God, the jaws of death would have already devoured my soul. But thanks be to God, for I'm shattered in the hand of God. Is there anybody here that keep the declare in this house? The weapons are strong, but they were not able to prosper. Because when the hand of God is on your life, the power Let's try to here. My brother, give God praise. I'm here today because of the grace of God. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, God. Good way to Jesus. I'm here today because of the grace of God. I don't know what to do. I thank God today for grace. This grace got me alive. Thank God for grace. Uh -oh, glory to Jesus. Somebody say thank God for grace. Thank God for grace. grace. Yes, yeah, someone you should be thanking God for grace. It was the grace of God that brought you to. But oh, God, yes, sir. They said you wouldn't make it. They said it, yes, sir. They said you would not amount to nothing. Yeah. They looked at the mistake of your path or they looked at something they saw. You did. And they tried to hold it against you. They determined whether you are qualified for this next level of greatness. But 
that keep the word not unto a note so, over this house so, that surely sweetness and mercy so, shall follow you so, all the days of so, your life. So, the shame of the year, I'm in the rock of God. Yes, sir, I've been living under a curse. So, long enough, so, but I can't go to prayer. Of the people, but it was not 